The Equinix Cloud Exchange is a new capability that we deployed in 19 markets um, to enable direct connectivity from customers in our data centers directly to the public and private clouds that exist in the data center. Um, and it provides direct connectivity with security, performance, and uh, agility, the ability to activate quickly to, to multiple clouds in our data centers. Uh, it's been up and running since April of this year, and we have multiple partners announced, and we are working with dozens of partners right now. We see a strong demand and traction for connectivity. We already have Microsoft Azure connected in 16 markets. We have AWS in seven markets and many more to be announced. We will deploy the Cisco InterCloud uh, capabilities in our cloud exchange so that the Cisco InterCloud ecosystem um, can connect directly into cloud exchange natively and be able to connect to all the clouds that they need to get to. Um, and at the same time, we will also uh, be able to get Cisco cloud services. Cisco will deploy in 16 markets cloud services capabilities so that customers can also connect all the Cisco capabilities in our data centers in 16 markets. The combination of uh, Cisco InterCloud and Cloud Exchange in all these markets will mean that customers, enterprise customers, will be able to come in, build the hybrid or private cloud in our data centers. They can co-locate, they can get connectivity, and they can get manageability, security policy all the way to the application layer. Now we have end-to-end -end manageability, security, and end-to-end -end control and policy for enterprise customers who want to bring their private cloud or hybrid cloud to our data centers, be able to not just manage connectivity and performance at the connectivity layer, but take it all the way up to the application layer and take advantage of all the tools that Cisco is building with InterCloud. They can set policy at the VM level. They can now build heterogeneous applications using multiple clouds, multiple, app, multiple environments, and stitch it together with, a, with an environment that they can manage. No, this is not an exclusive deal. We, uh, Equinix is known to be a neutral environment that will continue to support a multi-network, multi-cloud environment. So we, we want to enable Cisco InterCloud for all the partners. Many of the Cisco InterCloud customers and partners are in our data centers. However, we will continue to support other ecosystem like Microsoft Azure and many clouds. And you'll see us make more and continue to make announcement as these new uh, cloud ecosystems develop to enable them in our data centers. I think the significance of this deal from an industry is that it starts to show indus key industry players like Equinix, like Cisco, uh, put some uh, investment and focus around OpenStack to create a multi-cloud environment, multi-vendor environment for the cloud so that you can enable the diversity of clouds and networks to all interconnect using uh, standard tools and OpenStack. If they're not deployed in Equinix data centers, they would need to extend their network to connect at Equinix data centers to the intercloud uh, capabilities, the fabric we have. If it's enterprise customers, they would need to work with uh, Cisco or Equinix to see what combinations they want from Cisco intercloud capabilities or Equinix colocation and cloud exchange services. We are going to work with Cisco over the next few months to simplify what that means and be able to combine the two in a simple way so customers know how to use the combination of Equinix colocation and cloud exchange plus Cisco intercloud services. When we launched Cloud Exchange, we created an SDN layer that abstracted a lot of the control and activation functions away from the physical layer. By doing so, that enables us to support multi-controllers like Cisco ACI or Cisco you know, APIC uh, environment. And uh, what that architecture is going to enable us to continue to collaborate with all the different cloud uh, partners and ecosystems because we will bind with them at the SDN layer. So the, the change in architecture here is that we're taking our exchanges and adding cloud exchange and then adding on top of it an SDN layer that allows these different cloud ecosystems to flourish. 
Cloud Exchange and this capability is already deployed in 19 markets across the globe. In each one of those markets, we are distributing the function to all the data centers in the same metro. So effectively, our data center is a certain market like Silicon Valley, all become a single virtual data center. And the reason we're doing that is that some of the, some of the networks are in some data centers, clouds are maybe in another data center in the same metro. By virtualizing and binding all of them with our SDN layer, all the different ecosystem that exist in the multi-data centers will start to appear as a single data center and a single environment for connectivity.